industry as a barber? Well, I sort of I started in uh, September '99 in Auckland, uh, New Zealand. I gradually moved to Australia, and then got to a point where it was time to sort of open my own space. So my customer base is um, a fairly wide mix of people. So ranging from people who I've been cutting for over 10 years, um, some of which were you know, three or four year old children, one of them's just started high school, to fellas I see every Friday. So in opening my own shop, I just wanted to create a space that was a relaxed environment, um, it was entertaining to look at. I really didn't want a plain, boring barbershop that was sterile with white walls. Um, and the idea came from the room I had when I was a teenager where uh, my mother, after telling me to clean my room several times, kicked me out of the house and put me in the garage. And I was allowed to do whatever I wanted and every inch of the wall was covered with pictures and car parts and you name it. Um, hence adding the, the brick wall, which gives it like a garage feel. Um, you know, some of the sort of semi-industrial stuff around that makes it feel like it's like a man cave. I just went with old advertising signs and just little things from my personality that I like. Um, added in with everything. So I think some of the craziest and strangest haircuts I've had. I did have a fellow with long hair come in one day and just decide to shave all his hair off and write the word party in the back of his head. And as you imagine trying to use clippers to do that, it kind of looked like block letters, but he was perfectly happy with it. Mm -hmm.